omwaka lwa omulonji nateera tukwaniriza wano ku za Uganda Catholic Television nga tusinzira dalala wano ensambya nkwagaliza no program enunji in advance kubanga nina munda munze ekinga echi, matoba twangu yetu papirize tusobola kuulira olwalire kigambo cholwalero tugenda kuchiwebwa atena uulire nti dalala katonda ayagalo tudza obujja Nate na yenga tetuna ba kugenda mchigambe hicho tuagalo kutendelezo mukama ngabo manyenti osoka newe yanjula ngabo bo genze bulange osoka kwe yanjula no tambula ngomga na fetu agalo kutambula ngaba kiliza mkutendeleza tuliokate tuanilize oyo kristu ya njini agendo kutuwe wa mchigambe cholo wale tonight is your day tonight may be your day tonight may be the turning point of your life tonight may be the end of the situations that have been squeezing your life squeezing you f- making you feel a lot of pain and feel a lot of burden in your heart but tonight may be your turning point so be with us as we praise be with us as we uh, as we celebrate the christ as we pour ourselves unto him as we tell him that you you're so good you you're there the omnipotent the king of kings the lord of lords the everything of ours that we need sagala kuluisayo kubanga echenja ulochiri Mochire cholo alero nti tudizibwa bujja nawo genda kuche ulirira ko era uja chi uliranga mukama kusisinkana nga kudiza obulamu katugende mu kitundu kya fe ekisoka ekyo kutendereza no kusinzo mukama nkwagaliza no program enunji nkwagaliza dalala okusisinkana omukama mu kiro cholo alero it is always a privilege to praise and worship the lord mukisagwa manyo kutendereza omukama I so saw dear viewer wherever you are join us as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. Holy Spirit we welcome you in this moment yes Lord. as we encounter the Lord it is your presence we long for it is your move it is your touch we long for to all your children out there that are viewing that are listening it is your presence that you may make us encounter the lord kubera woko ai moyo kwe kuna watu sinka no mukama kubera woko bulijo kwe kutuwa ne tulega kubirunje byo mukama byatuwa aho nonga tuyingira mukade kana ko kutendereza no kusinza mukama tugula we mitima ya feri okubera woko ai moyo mutukirivu otwale chitibo otwalo buyinzo otwala matendo leka tutendeleze leka tusinze kubanga oli wakati mufe leka tugulumize katonda wafe kubanga oli wa munafe may we praise and worship for you are me this task holy spirit may we glorify our god for you are with us have your way take your glory holy spirit Moyo wa mukama owe wetendo bulicho moyo wa mukama yesu owe wetendo bulicho moyo wa mukama musabe mwanirize atwale tenda atwale chitiwa pray and ask him to have his way to take glory and minister Oh we were tendo bulijo Oh we were tendo Oh we were tendo bulijo Moyo wa mukama Yesu Oh we were tendo bulijo Moyo wa mukama Oh we were tendo bulijo Moyo wa mukama Yesu owe watendo bulijo Moyo kwe kubera kwa katonda tukuwe tendo sani te Moyo kwe uinsa wa mukama tukuwe tendo bulijo Moyo wa mukama Tendo bulijo moyo wa mukama Yesu owe watendo bulijo moyo ne mukasera kano moyo tukuwe tendo sani te moyo wa mukama Yesu owe watendo bulijo 
죠모여와모카마오와와찬도부리죠모여와모카마예수오와와찬도부리죠Ten do buli jo. We mo yo aso bolu levi asiwa. Tu kwe ten do buli jo. Mo yo kwe akuba gisa makoye. Tu kwe ten do buli jo. Mo yo amu kama. Oh we wa ten do buli jo. Mo yo amu. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Come and take control. We open up our hearts to your presence, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. We welcome you, gentle Spirit. We love you, and we yearn for you. Come and sit right at the center of our lives. Come and have your way. Come and be with us. Come, lead and guide us. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. To quantize. We shall sing for joy to God, our strength, our love, our comforter, our good shepherd. For when we call unto Him, He answers. For when we lift our praise to Him, His glory comes down. And so wherever you are, join me and we lift our voices, everything of ours, to praise our God, to worship our God, to speak of His greatness, to declare that He is great, that He is so merciful, that He is God from beginning to the end. Say, if we call to Him, He will run to us. If we run to Him, He will run to us. If we lift our hearts, He will lift us up. Come on, praise His name, all you saints of God. If we call to Him, say, say. If we call to Him, He will run to us. Yes, if we run to Him, He will run to us. If we lift our hearts, He will lift us up. Come on, praise His name, all you saints of God. If we call to Him, lift your voice and say, If we call to Him, He will ransom. Yes, if we run to Him, He will run to us. He will lift our hearts. He will lift us up. Come and praise His name, all your saints of God. 
If we call to him, say, if we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hearts, he will lift our souls. Come and praise his name, all his saints of God. Lift your voice and say, oh, sing for joy to God. Sorrows. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hearts, he will lift us up. Come on, praise his name, all you saints of God. If we call to him, say, say. If we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to us, he will run to us. If we lift our hearts, he will lift us up. Come and praise his name, oh you saints of God. With a grateful voice, we could call to him if we call to him. He will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hearts, come and praise us. Yes, come and praise his name, oh you saints of God. Say, oh sing, oh sing. Joy to God, to God, I swear, yes, sing, oh, sing for joy, yes, to God, I swear, I sing, oh, sing, sing for joy to God, I love, to God, I pray, to God, I pray, to God, I pray, sing for joy, yes, to God, to God, I reach, I swear, yes, so sing. I have the future. Jesus, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Oh, for this sun sure. For this sun sure. Yes, I have a living God. I have a living God. Yes, I have a future. I have a future. Jesus, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Oh, this sun sure. For oh, this sun sure. Jesus, Jesus, you're my fun fun. I know I can sound secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can sound secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my trust in your holy word. Yes, I have a living God. I have a living God. Say, I have a future. I have a future. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Yes, for this I'm sure. For this I'm sure. Yes, I have a living God. I have a living God. I have a future. Plan for yes, me. For this I'm sure. For this I'm sure. Jesus, 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 Jesus you're, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. foundation. My in your holy word, I put my trust in your holy word. Jesus, 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 you're my firm foundation. I know my I can sound secure. Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. My life, my I put truth. my trust in your holy word. I put my trust in your holy word. Mamba, 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 mamba. 
Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 ye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba ye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba Musumba wange ye musumba wange Sumba wange, Murani wange, Sura 
Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Yes Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Yes Rasi Rangi Yes Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Rasi Rangi Yes Rasi Rangi Yes Rasi Praise and honor. He's the God who lived on high. He's the God who never failed. He's the God who deserves the glory. Who owes you all to praise him? He who deserves to be honored and lifted on high. That's why we lift our hands and our voices to praise him. He deserves the glory. He deserves the worship. He deserves the praise. He is God. He is God from the beginning. To the end. Take all the honor. He is God Take who never fails. It is honor, He power. alone above everything. Lord. He is above all powers, above all thrones, Lord. above all kings, above all nations, Lord. above all created Lord. things. Lord. He is God Lord. from beginning Lord. to the end. He is alone, you are never compared. There is no life. other God besides Him. Be the Lord of our lives. That's why we praise him. That's why we worship him. For he is great. For he deserves the glory. For he deserves the worship. Lord, we praise you and we worship you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. With a grateful heart, say, You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Jesus, there is no there is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. In all created things, there is no there is no you are great. Say you are great. You do so great there is no one else like you there is no and there will be no there is no one else like there will never be for you are great you do miracles so great yes there is no one else like you there is no there is no Sukulumie, O Colebie, O Yonto Co, Tewali no Malinga Que, Tewali no Malinga Que, O Sukulumie, O Colebie, O Yonto Co, Tewali no Malinga Que. Yesu te wali no malinga kwe Osu kulumye Ye okole nye unyon toko 
Lord, you do miracles so grand. There is no one else like you. There will never be anyone like you. There is no one else like you. There is no one else. Te wali no mali ngakwe. For you are great. You the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. We praise you, Lord, on high. We glorify you. We honor you, Lord. We lift your name on high. There is no one else like you. And there will never be anyone like you. To contend the desire of God to conquer me, to go to the glory. Katondo mukuru wa mani, owo buyinza. Tewali no mu alinga kwe. Ida tewali ba no mu alinga kwe. All glory belongs to you, Lord. All praise is unto you, Lord. Echitiwa chicho ai mukama, no buyinza bubo. Echitiwa chibecha patri ne chamo ana ne chamo imutu kilivu. Ngawe chali olubere berie na kano na bulijo eminembe eminembe. We have praised and worshipped in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beira muliriza wa chigambo chino chironji. Nzikiriza nti chigenda kuongero kuzisinkanya omukama. Katugende vutelevu mchitondo cha fe ate eche chigambo. Our viewers, once again we are here. We thank God so much for this opportunity given to us. Let me ask my sister here to lead us in a, an opening prayer. Mukama tukusabanga tukendo kuuliriza akasera akensi sinkano nawe mukama obere na fe gula mutima gwa fogo munda gula maso ga fago mo yo mukama tusobola okulaba era ogula matuga fago munda mukama tusobola okuulira mukama kubera ngo ogenda okogera na fe tuyambe mukama tusobola kubera nga bibana ababo gente ko na fe bibana abagabanyiza na fe mukama tusobola kubera nga tubiteka munte munkola Mukama took Sabo of them of your Fabiana, Mobulamo of Femukama, to Quasabaganda of Fenevanina Faba with Demo Amani Mukama, go over Zama Amani Mukama, Kuanga Gua in Zabio Namukama, Avali Nobu Radde, Avainava Radde Mukama, go over Janjava, Yam Kamaveda, H. Kuba Giziava Buna, Faba with Demo Subina with Demo Amani. You're not to be seven in Trevor Zanga three times years, Christo Mukama Wafe. I mean, the party. Thank you very much, my sister Rita. Um, we are here once again to continue with our sharing. To come here on a tale of Kudama Kugabanako, where God is encouraging each one of us. Omkamanga, Fena, go on to us, Echinomo, at Uzama Amani. Last time we are here, he was telling us. Fear not. 
Bwe tuwali wano mrundi oguwede nga tugama atitetutia. The children of Israel were faced with challenges. Abana wa Israel iba sanga obusomoza. Ahead of them was the Red Sea. And behind Pharaoh was chasing them. So they were in a corner. They thought that maybe God had abandoned them. Many times we are faced with such a situation. And we may think that maybe God has forgotten us. But God comes in at the right time. And I believe many of us will have so many testimonies. Where God intervened. Where maybe things had proved impossible. But God came in at the right time. And this same God assured us last time as we saw in Isaiah chapter 40, 43 verse 1 to 5 that he knows us by name and, and, he, yeah, and he, he, even when we are passing through difficult situations he will be there for us. Is ready to give up nations. To give up nations. To give up. Because, because of you and me. So this is the heart of our God. So what does he expect from us? He expects us to respond with the total trust and the faith in him. I know, dear friends, it is not easy to have total trust in God. We need the grace. But the good thing is, the good news is, we have our ancestors in faith, the saints, whom we look at and always we ask them to pray for us that as they managed through the grace of God and they are now in heaven they should also pray for us that we may also fight up to the end. So let's first listen to this reading as we start off our, our sharing. We are going to read from the book, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 35, chapter, chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. It reads, on the, evening, on the evening of that same day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across the other side of the lake. So, that, so they left the crowd. The disciple got into the boat in which Jesus was already seated. And they took him with them. The other boats were there too. Suddenly a wind, suddenly a strong wind blew up and the waves began to, to, over, to take them over into the boat. So it was about to fill with water. Jesus was in the, the back of the boat sleeping with his head on a pillow. The disciple woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you, don't, you do not care that we are about to die. Jesus stood up and commanded the wind, Be quiet. And he said to the wind, Be still. The wind died down, and they were, there was a great there was a great calm. Then Jesus said to his disciple, Why are you terrified? Do you still, you do not have faith? But they were, ter they were troubled, afraid, and began to say to one another, Who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Abaluganda Baburi de Yechivude. 
Aboluganda tusomye mu kitabo kya Maliko, mavanjiri ya Maliko. Omtu ogwo kuna olinyiryo rasa tumwetano okutuuka kulwa ana mulumu. Jesus was in the boat. Yesu yali mu muliyato. He was with his disciples. Yali mu nabagoberezwe. And the waves came. Omuyaga ne gujja. It was too much. Omuyaga gwali munji that they were almost drowning. But remember Jesus was in the boat. My dear sister, my dear brother, this is what brings out the, the what I was trying to, to tell you before. Or maybe what we saw last week. That being a Christian, being with the Lord, it does not mean that we are not going to face challenges. Challenges were uh, challenges will be there. Jesus was aware. But maybe he was testing their faith. But I want to thank God who gave them the grace. Because maybe they would have cried. They would have shouted. They would have maybe jumped out of the, the boat. But their attention was drawn to Jesus who was with them in the boat. And they woke him up. They woke him up. And when Jesus woke up, he commanded the storm and it calmed down. My dear sister, my dear brother, I don't know what situation you are going through. I don't know what storm that is surrounding you. Maybe you are even about to drown. Call upon Jesus in prayer Musala. in prayer Musala. and it will come down that storm so my dear sister my dear brothers storms came while Jesus was with them in the boat storms did not come when Jesus was outside the boat storms came when he was with them in the boat God allows these storms in our lives as Christians so that we move out of we move out of comfort zones in order to grow in our spiritual lives because many times when we are in comfort zones, maybe we are, to, we are trusting in our, in, our, in our abilities. Maybe we are trusting our friends. Maybe you trust your children. Maybe you are trusting your job. Maybe you are trusting your wife or you are trusting your husband. The, the, the God may allow those storms to come into your life to draw your attention unto him because he's the alpha and the, and the, and the omega he's the beginning he, he, uh, the beginning and the end so instead of focusing on the storms around you focus on Jesus who has the power to come down those storms. The same questions, the same question he asked the apostles. Is the same question he's asking you, is asking me. Why are you frightened? Have you still no faith? So we need to grow in faith. Faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So the there are three levels of faith. We are going to look at these three levels of faith. At the end of this sharing, maybe you have, you, you have all discovered at which level of faith are you. The first level is the believing faith. 
believing faith. Okukiriza. Mm. Okay. It is, it is almost the same in Uganda. Mm. Now, maybe to understand this better, Let's read Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 22. Mark chapter gospel. 10, the gospel of Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 22. I'll, ex I'll explain it. 17. The rich man. Mm. Mark 10, 17, 22. Mm -hmm. As Jesus was starting on his starting on his way again, a man ran up, knelt before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not commit, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not take, do not chase, do not chase, respect your mother and your father. Teacher, the man has said, even since I was young, I have obeyed all these commandments Jesus looks at him straight looked at him love love and love said you need only one thing go and sell all you have and give to the give the money to the poor and you will have riches in heaven then come and follow me. When the man heard this, he grasped and said and spoke over his face, and he went away sad because he was very rich. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We look at this man. He came to Jesus and he knew him as a great teacher. And he was asking, he was asking him a beautiful question. He asked him a very, a very beautiful question. A, a good teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? This is a wonderful question. Because eternal life, it means, is eternal life. You are going to be in that life forever and ever and ever. So he was rich. He wanted to know what he can do. Maybe he had heard Jesus talking about that eternal life. And now he was asking himself, what must, what must I do in order to, uh, to, to possess that eternal life? Jesus told him to obey the commandments. And he said, I've commanded, I've, 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 uh, ever since I was young, I have obeyed. He obeyed all these commandments. Okay, Jesus told him, You need only one thing. Okay, you have obeyed those commandments. But maybe there is one thing you are missing. Go and sell everything. You have and give money to the poor. Then come and follow me. Many of us, what hinders our faith to God to grow is too much attachment. We are attached to so many things. And in the end, they, they fail us. They fail us to, 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 to go for the best. Jesus here was not condemning becoming rich. Because we need money. Even in evangelization, we need money. But here, what this, this man failed, he failed the commandment. 
Yagwa eteka. You remember Jesus summarized the Ten Commandments into one commandment. commandment. Muteka limu. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Yagala katonda wono mutima gogo. With all your mind and so on. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yagala muliruana wongabu we yagala. So he knew the commandments. Amateka yali agamanyi. He knew Jesus was God. Yamanyi anti Yezu katonda. He knew him that he was a great teacher. Yamumanyi anti yalimu igiri zamlu. But he failed the test. Neyate. Of, of loving the neighbor. So he just believed. That is a believing faith. That's where many of us are. We are at that level. We believe that God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. We know God, God speaks to us through the Bible. Every Sunday we come to church, we hear beautiful homilies. God is, God is instructing us to love and forgive. But we end everything there. And we, we, we don't put every, we don't what we don't put what we hear into practice. Mm. We just believe. Now we go to the second level. We have the expectant faith. Because of time here, we are not going to read. But here we, 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 we pick this from Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. We see a woman here who had suffered for 12 years. She had tried everywhere and she, she, she could not be healed. I know she had spent a lot of money. But she, she couldn't get healed. For 12 years, she was suffering. But she heard of Jesus. Maybe she had so many people testifying about Jesus. Maybe she had heard of so, so many cripples who had walked. Maybe she had also heard of the blind people seeing. And when she heard that maybe Jesus was passing. Because she was unclean. Because of that sickness that she was suffering from. She said now I cannot face him directly. But she had that faith. Expecting God to do a miracle. She said let me just to touch the edge of his garment and maybe I will be, I will be healed. But immediately she touched the edge of the garment of Jesus. She got healed instantly. And the bleeding stopped. And Jesus being God he felt something that had taken place. He, he turned to this woman and said, my daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed from your trouble. So my dear sister, my dear brother, when you are approaching Jesus in prayer, what is your attitude? What do you have in your mind? Are you going to Jesus as knowing that he is a God who created you and everything is possible and everything is possible? Do you go expecting? And when you are expecting, do you also add this? that let him do it according to his will at his own time but I know he's going to act Amina. 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 Amina the third level the, the trusting, trusting faith. faith trusting faith you keep trusting God in whatever situation whether the rest have abandoned God. For you, you remain trusting God. Even amidst the different challenges. You remain trusting God. We have, we have, 
Let's first look at these examples in the Bible. Because of time, we are not going to read there. But you read there at your own time. In the book of Daniel, chapter 3, the whole of chapter 3, we look at these three young men. They were in exile in Babylon. But the grace of God accompanied them while even they were in exile. When they were in exile, they were given responsibility of leadership by, by, by King Nebuchadnezzar. But this king Nebuchadnezzar did not believe in the same God they believed in. But for them, they remained faithful unto God. And now one day, King Nebuchadnezzar gave an order and said, Everybody must worship. That God, whom he had made. But these three men, these great men, without fearing losing their leadership position, they, they, they told the king that king, we are not ready to, to obey. We are not ready to worship your God. Because for us, we know only one God. The God who created the heaven and us is the same God who created you and me is the Alpha and Omega and is a loving God is the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob is the God of all our ancestors is the God we, are go we, are we have to believe in and the only God that we are going to, to worship King Nebuchadnezzar got so annoyed. He got so annoyed. And he decided to punish them. He decided to punish them. So, so by, by, by throwing him in, by throwing them in fire. Amina. Amina. When he threatened them, when he threatened them, they told him, they, they, they told him that yes, you are threatening us. You may, go, you may go ahead and do what you want to do. But one thing we know, that that same God whom we serve is going to save us from your cruel hands. But here this dear friends, they added even this statement. But even if he does not, your majesty may you be sure that, that we will not worship your God. Even though God allows you to burn us, we are not going to change our position. We are not going to change our stand. We are ready to die. But we are not ready to worship your God. Friends, for me, I get so challenged. Because many of us, or many times, when I find myself maybe with a challenge, many times maybe I may be, be tempted to start grumbling. Asking God, where are you? Where are you? But these men, these men, they stood their ground and they said, yes, we are not ready. Go ahead and do and prepare whatever punishment you want to use to punish us. But we be sure we are not going to worship your God. Even though he does not help us. Even though he does not save us from this fire. We are ready to be burnt to death. But we are not ready to worship your God. That is the level of trusting faith. 
Elio liedale elio kusatu, elio kukiriza. My dear sister, my dear brother. Mwanyi na ze mganda wange. How many times have you compromised? Wawada honga weki liranya. Maybe at your place of work. Wabaku mlimu go. Maybe on your sacramental journey. Wabaku mlimu go wama sacramentu ngo tambula. You have been walking a journey of sacraments. Ngo tambula ma sacramentu. You have been living a sacramental life. Ngo mlimu go wana mlimu sacramentu. But sacramento. you are first with a challenge. Na yengo sanze chiso mozo. And you are moved away from your sacramental journey. Nobe nanga sacramentu o gavudeko. Maybe at your place of work. Wabaku mlimu go joko lena. You are first with a challenge. O ine chiso mozo. Maybe documents you are supposed to sign. O baby paplevi mu. But your conscience does not allow you. Nenga ate because you are a Christian. And when you say no, maybe you are going to lose your job. But how many times, what decision do you take at that particular time? So the Lord is challenging us, dear friends. That, that, God, that, God, that God is challenging us. That when we are faced with such a situation, that when we are faced with such a challenge, which way, which side do we stand on? When we look at our Uganda matters, they were faced with the same challenge. When they were asked, where are the Christians? Who are the Christians? Many came out boldly and they said, and they said, they said, here we are. They knew, they knew. What is going to happen? Because of their saying yes. They knew that they were going to lose their life. But all the same, they stood their ground. And they said, yes, here we are. We are Christians. We cannot deny the Lord. We cannot deny our faith. Because of the situation that are surrounding us. So the Lord is challenging us, dear friends. As we conclude, the the Lord is challenging us that whatever we are, let's ask him for the grace. We ask him to fill us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Because without his, the power of the Holy Spirit, we cannot, we cannot grow in faith. When you look at these three levels of faith, many of us, we are still at the, the believing faith. We know God is there. We know he created us. He gave us the Ten Commandments. Every Sunday it speaks to us. But there is no conversion in our lives. So we pray for the grace that God may lead us to the trusting faith. That even amidst all the different challenges, we may remain faithful to God. And God may always see us through. Looking at our ancestors in faith in the Uganda matters, we ask them to pray for us with all the arm of angels in heaven and all the saints in heaven we ask them to pray for us as a pilgrimage church we may also faithfully move through this challenging world so that one day we may join that army in heaven of saints we praise our God forever and ever Amen let's pray Father God, I want to thank you once again for this time you have given us. Thank you for loving us. Lord, we ask you as a pilgrimage church, we are here with sorts of challenges and struggles. Many of us, Lord, we are living a hopeless life. Many of my sisters outside there who may be following this program, Lord, meet each one of them at their point of need. Lord, give us the grace always to be sensitive to what you are telling us, to what you are instructing us. That rich man, you told him, said everything, give the poor, follow me, he went away sad. Lord, give us the grace that always we may be able to listen to you and to trust you and to trust your voice so that we may walk not according to our own will, but according to your will. 
so that as we leave this earth, we may be victorious, so that we may come to join you and the arm of angels in heaven. Mother Mary, we ask you, may you continue interceding for us. Hold each one of us by our hands and draw us closer to the heart of your son, Jesus. Gather us together like a mother hen gathers its chicks through your immaculate heart, Mother Mary, and lead us to the sacred heart of Jesus, so that Jesus, your son, may be praised and glorified. Through Christ Jesus, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Jesus. Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Our Uganda matters. Pray for us. Our patron saints. Intercede for all us. All the saints in heaven. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Once again, I want to welcome you back from that segment of the Word of God. I hope you have seen how God is so merciful and so loving to give us life and life to its fullest. Over the nange no eranga buli jo serada Joanna Mwanjuzi wa program eno zikirizanti obadde nafo kubaje twatandikira tena watu egase ku wakati yao zikirizanti ekigambo kikukoze obulungi obwerere bwato katonda bwato agaliza fenna okubera abalamu ate abalamu mu bujuvu kati nno kankusibule ate kwagalize weekend enunji tuongera okusisinka na weekend eja Friday eja mubudde bwebumu wano ku Uganda Catholic Television be blessed as you continue watching our television there are so many programs that run from morning to evening throughout the night be with us and you shall continue to encounter God in your life nkwagaliza no weekend enunja tene chile chilonji uwe dawa Oh, <laughs>